Okay, welcome back to another GeoDesta video. Today we're playing all the Weather Spoons. So all these locations are located near Weather Spoons, which is a type of British pub chain, and they always look like banks or like some historic building. I mean, the one near me is like 400, 500 years old, and that's at least 10 times older than I am. So we're gonna get straight into the game. Hopefully, I know the location. Hold on a second, this is easy. Coventry. Oh yeah, there's a Weather Spoons free house. I haven't even moved yet, and I know the location. Well, maybe it's going to Coventry, so we might not be in Coventry at all. Holy head, Coventry is it that, or is it? No no! Computer store. What sort of name is that? Has anyone actually ever been in a Tony and Die? I've never heard of someone going in one of the Tony and Dies. I'm pretty sure this has to be some sort of money laundering scheme. The bus says Coventry. That might be the final location. We could be very far away. It could be another one of Geodesk's, you know, way of throwing me off. You know, they don't like to see their number one Geodesk approach at sea. That is very sad. The Royal Leamington Spa. I don't think it's got anything to do with that, has it? Thing is, I'm not very educated on these weather spoons. I've only been in one once, and it took 40 minutes for them to make my breakfast, so I never went in there again. It was nearly dinner time by the time they served that up. So we're in Warwick. I was right. It, it isn't uh, Coventry, but where's Warwick? I don't actually know where Warwick is. It's probably nearby, right? There it is. Okay, never mind. We found Warwick. And the Royal Leamington Spa, we did see that as well, didn't we? That was up by the shop. Oh, wait. We saw a wagon mama, didn't we? The Benjamin Satchel. Okay, we're just here. CEX, Benjamin Satchel. Where the hell is the weather spoons? Surely the Benjamin Satchel is the weather spoons? Hold on, let me go back to the beginning one sec. Finally found it. Jeez, that took so long. So we're not actually next to the weather spoons, so it don't matter. We're in between the Benjamin Satchel and Indigo. So we just go around here. This has got to be zero meters, surely. Let's guess. Five meters. Okay, it's good enough. How the hell? This is wrong though, because I couldn't be on the pavement. I was definitely on the road. And we go on to the next one. This is a very strange looking place. Okay, so what can we get from this place? It's called the Eccles Cross. There's um there's a building in the distance. Big Ben in the distance as well. That's very helpful. This Morrison's does look very old. I feel like this is like near the seaside. I get that feeling. Either near the seaside or near Manchester. Don't ask me how I came to that conclusion, but it's definitely right. There's an Audi. It, they, they keep saying Eccles, so I feel like this is an Eccles. Where the hell is Eccles? I've never heard of it. Okay, we got some sort of... What sort of flag is that? I don't know what country that is. I've never seen that country before. It must be a newly emerging one. Okay, so let's check Manchester because I did say I think this is near Manchester. Could I be correct? You don't realise actually how southern Manchester is. It's not as northern as you think it is. If my prediction's correct, I am the best GeoGuessr player ever. Is it near Manchester? Eccles! Oh my god, I was correct! It was near Manchester! What the hell? That was actually a sick guess! Okay, we found it! It, it, it was literally just next to Manchester. I didn't even know this place existed until I saw the sign. Wait, that was actually a sick guess. Hold on, we need to go back. Okay, we're at the beginning. The Eccles Cross is on the map. The Eccles Cross is just here. We are in front of it. Boom, 5,000 points. Thank you very much. That was so good. I can't believe I said it's either near the seaside or near Manchester, and I actually got it correct. Kind of a double whammy when you look at it, because it's not far from the seaside either. We go on to the next round once again. Where is the weather spoons? That's a job centre, so that's not a weather spoons. Where's the weather spoons? Is that it? That's a restaurant. Where's this weather spoons that they speak of? Okay, it's on a second. I've never seen a weather spoons on a second floor. It looks like an office block. This is probably the weirdest weather spoons I've ever seen. Because normally they're like 400 year old buildings. This one's above a job centre. Could this be Scotland? Halifax. Okay, we're in Halifax. I know where Halifax is. Halifax is just around... Is just around... Is just around... Is just... Uh, where the hell is I should have sworn it was somewhat relevant. Why isn't it on the map? There we go. There's Halifax Okay, it's not even that you know well known on the map Jesus. Here's the VUE see it was perfect And then I know the JD Weatherspoons is there. Let me go back to the beginning real quick Let me guess Oh, I thought I was gonna stop at, I thought I was gonna stop was that in the game froze that scared me I thought I got the wrong Halifax, but we didn't it was only six meters away. This is too good This is the most insane game ever the Greyhound Freehouse. Okay. Okay, let's do this round without moving. We're gonna do it without even moving in the slightest. We got hills in the distance, typically northern. We got Scylla and Camilla. I wonder who owns that shop. Liter to literary li literary festival. What does this sign say? The tourist information art center. Saint. Does that say Saint Mary's Church? I think it does. Saint Mary. Where is Saint Mary? If I had to guess, I would say near Yorkshire or in Yorkshire somewhere. King Charles II came here September 23rd, 1651. Jesus Christ, that's a long time ago. That writing doesn't look very old either. That looks pretty modern. What's that, like italic bold? Okay, that doesn't really... It's interesting, but it doesn't help us in the slightest. So I grant it useless. Hold on, what does that say? Keep Brioport tidy. It's called Brioport and ports and typically found 
in like the coast of the UK. So we could be around here somewhere. Okay, I just went around the whole coast of the UK and I couldn't find it. And I don't mean the whole coast of the UK on this map. I actually drove around the whole coast. That's how dedicated I am to Geodesa, guys. So that's why you should leave a like on this video if you're doing... Now that I think about it, it was called St. Mary's, right? A lot of the saint places are down here in the UK. And Cornwall can be pretty hilly as well at uh, some regions. So I have a feeling it could be in Cornwall now. St. Earth and St. Earth. Why is there two places named the same thing? That must be confusing. Because like, do they have gang wars going on between each other? I imagine they do. Okay, well, I've been looking for about an hour now. And I cannot find it. So we're going to give up. We're going to go for the south of the UK, like I said. And we're going to go somewhere around here. Let's just go here. And we actually weren't that far off. Uh, it was further down. Why? Wait, what was the name of this place? Oh, look, there it was. There it was. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. But I wasn't that far. I'm glad I didn't pick the north. That actually went a lot better than it could have done. Is this the final round? I believe it is. And we are in some strange unknown place. The art picture house. Guess I have to guess the location. I mean, after all, it is GeoGuessr. Here we go, Berry Art Museum. I shouldn't have moved this round, but I definitely wouldn't have got it. There was no hints whatsoever around here. So Berry, Berry, I never know how to pronounce it correctly, is up north, I believe. Actually, I think Berry is near Manchester, is it not? Or am I thinking of Burnley? Oh no, it's just up north of Manchester. Here we go. The Robert Pill, was that the name of it? Hold on, let me go back to the room. Oh uh, no, it's called the Art Picture House. That's, that's the wrong... Are we in the wrong Barry? The Picture House, here we go. They have two weather swings. That is quite the flex. The Art Picture House, we are just here... Just around there, let me guess. Is it correct? Yes, it is. 5,000 points. So let's just go through the summary because this was a very good game of Geodesa. It was so close to being 25,000 points, but this one was just too difficult. I don't even think I would have found it if I moved around, to be honest. It was just such a small town. But that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers, guys. So please subscribe if you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.